from very, very young, I got interested in art because my uncle, my uncle Ronnie was, he was an artist and he wasn't famous and didn't make a living off of it. He did it seriously just for the joy of doing it. And so that's kind of what got me into art. Colette, Ava, come on, Louie. How are you? I'm happy to see you, Jake. Hey. I mentored some elementary kids when I was in high school and just loved uh, working with kids. And to be able to combine making art and working with kids was just my dream job. It was amazing. This is a joke? Do I get to read it to the whole class? <laughs> um, this is my 25th, 25th year. What do you call a marker that paints? What is it? A paintbrush. A paintbrush. Not bad at all, isn't it? That's genius. I love that. I love it because I, I will speak with other people that say, you know, they'll get bored with their jobs or, or what have you, but I, I see, as you say, just about everything. What is that shape? Let's see who remembers it. Don't shout it out. Uh, Carter, what is it? Uh, trapezoid. Trapezoid. The other day I was working with my kindies who've been with me for five days and I taught a kindergartner how to cut and that never gets old. I literally have them, you know, with three hands, fingers in the wrong spot, cutting backwards, just simple correction and it clicks and I just stood back and I thought, this is a pretty magical job that I have. I, I taught a kindergartner to cut and all the way up to fifth graders who have some serious stuff to say in, in their artwork and they, they have the opportunity to express it. Here you guys go. I'm so lucky because I get, as an art teacher, a lot of kiddos who might not excel in reading and writing in the classroom. They struggle, but when they come here, they just feel at home and to be able to uh, just praise kids for incredible work that they do when they don't hear that the rest of the day when they come in this classroom, they get to hear that, and that's really special that I get to be a part of that. I, at the very least, want them to understand the just the magic of creation, because there's an idea in that head that no one could ever create, only you. I hate being alone, because it's a good thing we have VRA TV magic. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I get to introduce kids to knowing that video and wow. photographers and all of those people, all artists, not just drawing paintings, not just in a museum, everywhere you look, they're wearing someone's artwork every day all the time. I hope that these guys come home and they say, oh my gosh, in art, Mr. Rickman introduced us to this Catholic lady who makes prints and they are like I've never heard of that and they look it up and they see it and then they have these discussions about people they never would have been introduced to or some odd artist or some trick and how to draw something that would be a joy for me to hear that families were talking about some kind of art at the kitchen table.